All right, future CPA, so I'm here with Shelby. She recently passed the CPA exam and I'm so excited to hear her story. And it's quite a story of passing the CPA exam, overcoming a lot of obstacles and a whole lot of fun stuff. So welcome, Shelby. Thank you for your time today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, um, so yeah, so I, I love asking folks, you know, where were you? Who was around you? What was the crazy situation that arose after you check your score on NASBA and find out that you're finally a CPA? <laughs> so I was actually sitting exactly where I am now. Um, they always release the day before they technically release. Um, so I had seen in some posts that they were starting to post it up. And unfortunately, I didn't have the eyeball trick work because I didn't have a score. So I had to wait all day. Oh. Um, so I pulled it up on my phone and I, I always know where like the score comes out. And I just held my thumb over the score. So I was like, I, I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> this is either gonna be really good or really bad <laughs> um and I saw the seven and then I was like all right and then I inched it away and I was, it said 75 and I was like wait yes the perfect I was like, score did I just do that so uh my boyfriend was in the other room watching the I think it was like the college national football championship and I'm like I think I passed <laughs> and then I like ran out my phone I was like this says a 75 right and then it, he was like, yes. And I was like, I didn't know whether to like laugh or cry or just what all of it, to do. all of it, just it all was at just once. like all of it. And I'm like, how this is done. Like, it's been so long. This is finally done. So, yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear a little bit about your like, how, how long did this process take? What you know, what, what kind of obstacles did you overcome and so forth? Yeah, absolutely. So. I joke with my interns that work under me um, that I've done the CPA the entire wrong way. Um, I kind of mingled in it for a couple years, entry level, staff one, um, but I didn't really get serious about it until I hit um, two years ago. So I started studying January 2019 seriously. Okay. Um, it it's been a whirlwind. <laughs> um, I've failed plenty of tests. So I passed my first test uh, February of 2019. Okay. Um, and that was audit. And I had then taken reg three times, I believe, and far once over the 2019 year and just kept failing. And it wasn't big. It was just points, but it was just kept failing. And that's when I found, um, I kind of had a breakdown point and I was like, I've passed one. I know I can pass it. Um, what's going on? Um, and I work in audit. So audit for me wasn't too bad. Um, that's when I found the ultimate CPA, um, group and I signed up and I was like, something's got to give, I've, I've got to figure out I know I can do it. I just something, I don't know what's going on or what I'm doing wrong. Um, and that's when I signed up, we got started. And then that, so I signed up end of December of 19. I pa finally passed reg after three fails, February of 2020. And this was after signing up with the group. Um, and then I took... I still had to pass BEC and FAR, and I had a little bit of difficulty with BEC just starting out. Um, I failed that twice in 2020, but then I back-to-back -back passed FAR and BEC um, within a couple months timeline. That's awesome. So it's all study. It, it really came down to I wasn't studying correctly. Um, I wasn't funneling back. I was getting frustrated with the areas that I wasn't comprehending or wasn't getting and I wasn't digging into them enough in order to get those few points that I needed to pass. Yeah, and I mean, that that's why I created Ultimate CPA Exam Guide was to help people first identify how they learn best and then teach them how to use a CPA review course and then how to actually execute, be ruthless with your time. And, and so that, you know, I love helping folks like you who you're clearly very competent, 
but the exam is just so overwhelming. You have so many responsibilities that you know you don't have the time to research how to study and make all those kind of decisions. So um, you know, and then and then on top of having a community of other people who aren't in your life that you can kind of bounce questions off of because you were always very very active in our in our community group and I, I always appreciated that and just you know like having a, a non-judgmental place to share is like oh guys I failed what what do I do to fix it and 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 that's you know that that's you know because again fail at the end of the day failure is not the end of the world it's just you figure out one way not to pass and then um, you know, you just need to double down on what worked and then fix what, what wasn't working, cut it out and just focus on that. So, so that's awesome. Um, so I, I'm just curious, you know, uh, you know, obviously having, having a mentor was a big piece of it, but failing multiple times. And I, I know this from personal experience. I failed multiple times as well. Who, who was in your life to kind of keep pushing you? Like what, what was your reason that you just kept going, going at it? Yeah, so it was a couple of things. Um, I had a coworker who, when I started the journey, he was also in the middle of the journey. Um, and he happened to finish, I think, December of 2019. And this whole past year of like 2020, even when he was done, um, we would just text all the time. And I, I would text him and be like, hey, like, I, I don't know if I can do this. I, this is like, crushing me um and he just kept pushing and Good. said no you can you've got it you, you will pass this you're fine um and it helped to have that person that understood it um but then I also had I had my boyfriend I had my parents um and my parents just kept kept pushing they're like you like you can do it the amount of times I wanted to stop this whole process failing is miserable especially yeah. when I college was easy for me I glided through and the CPA is totally different I'm not wasn't ever used to this amount of failure um yeah but and, and then, it's, it's yeah it's just such a because most accounts have never failed before and and right when you fail it's just such a weird thing and but it's by design like it's totally by design so so that's cool. yeah yeah, and a lot of people too that, you know, I, I don't know if your boyfriend's an accountant or not, but a lot of people don't understand at all what this process is like. So did did, right. you, did you try to explain it to them or help them understand yeah. or they they got it and they um my mom is a gosh, it's a CPCU, which is like an insurance kind of CPA. So she's done this multiple tests you have to pass kind of thing. So she okay. probably got it the most out of like the family. Um, and they, they, they got it, but it wasn't, it really helped to have that coworker that's taken them knows it's a beast. And just also you can, you can relate to it a little bit more with someone who's gone through it. And also why the group was so great because yeah. everyone's going through it. Right. Yeah. 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 I, I, I had a weird situation. My dad, he scored in the top 100 in the nation when he sat for the exam. So I was just like, <laughs> I know my dad. It does, I'm, I'm go, I'll be in the Elijah Watt sales winner, no problem. And then it just it did not turn out nearly as good for me. So it, it's kind of funny how that works. Um, so I, I guess I, I, I'd love to know. So when when you, you joined Ultimate CPA Exam Guide, so you started implementing, so I call them study loops, where you, you learn a topic, but then once you've taken like a chapter or subunit or whatever, then you kind of go back and review everything. I'm just curious, how, how did you, what did your study routine look like after you failed? The, did, how, what was your thought process to go in and be like, okay, what do I need to change and improve on? So I always kind of came out of the test and took mental notes. Um, Especially just being like, hey, I wasn't sure of this when I was in the exam. Mm -hmm. um, if I don't pass, this is something I probably should look into. Um, so I always kind of went off that. I, I used the score sheet that they provide a little bit. Um, sometimes I don't know if I actually kind of grasp what it came back as compared to how I felt during the exam. Right. Um, but it's just 
it was really those like mental notes of where am I struggling and where do I need to crack down in? Um, the like most recent one was like cost for BEC. I just, yep. I'm an auditor. <laughs> I don't work in manufacturing. I work in nonprofits. Um, it was just, I was like, I just, what is going on? And it was cracking down and going into those videos, finding videos on YouTube and just trying to find a couple different methodologies of how people do the same thing um, and figuring out which way stuck best. Yep. Yeah. I, and a lot of it does boil down to trial and error. And I think, you know, for me, and I, I don't know if this was true for you, but just being soup like high intensity, like if you, if you fail a section and then you give yourself 16 weeks to say for a retake, you're just going to burn out and it just, it, it doesn't work that way. So, um, is, is that kind of the, the process you followed where you, if you found out you failed it? And I mean, I love continuous testing. Like it's such a gift to really be able to find out that you failed and then sign up within four to six weeks for a retake. Like that's, um, such a huge yeah. advantage. So I, did you take yeah. advantage of that? No, so my state, I um, tested out of Connecticut. We're one oh, okay. of the only few states that hasn't enacted it yet. No. And I wrote to the board, and I was like, why Why don't we have this? And they were just like, we don't know. It's no time soon. And I was like, <sighs> but like every other state <laughs> has this. So when I failed BEC in August, I was like gung-ho. And I didn't know at the time that we didn't do continues. I thought every state did it. I did too. Um, I, that's, I, I needed to take note of that. That's crazy. Yeah. So I believe Michigan, North Carolina, and Connecticut are still not continuous. What? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Thanks for letting so, me know. So I, cause I was ready, like BC, I got a 70. I was like, I know exactly what I did wrong. Like knew where I needed, bought the NTS, go to sign up. And it says, you can't sign up until October. And I was like, oh, wait, what? No. <laughs> so I ended up actually just going to FAR. And I was like, I got, I'll, I'll try to nail down FAR in this time frame, and then go to BC after, which is not what I would have preferred to do. I would have preferred to just keep going like you preach. Um, but sometimes you kind of have to be flexible and how yeah. it goes but yeah if you have continuous testing like oh yeah it's, a blessing. It. it's, it's a blessing all right so i you know and something i i love hearing as well is that okay so you've been on this long journey to becoming a cpa so what what is your aspirations now that you are a cpa is it related to your current job are you looking for a promotion is just looking for flexibility like what what really drove you to keep going from a personal career standpoint yeah, so I'm actually the highest level of senior that I can get to. Okay. Um, so when I read, I had left my firm and went to another one for about a year and then decided that I wanted to go back to this one. Um, and when I went back, I just, I made the commitment to myself and to my bosses and whatnot that I, I'm going for it this time. Like, it's, it's not a joke. Um, it, it's serious and it's time to buckle down and it's time to get it done um, because manager is sitting right here for me. Yeah. So this has been a lot about getting the promotion and being able to step up to the level that I've, I've been kind of working at just I with the CPA and with accounting firms, you can't get to that next level without this. It's a huge barrier. So it was always in the back of my head, just, get this done you'll be a manager and we'll go from there but it's just always been the goal to become the manager and just fit like finish this complete this and move forward yeah yeah so i mean this, this brings up a great point so you know there's a lot probably going to be a lot of seniors and accounting firms listening who are struggling with the cpa so how did you manage your time because you know, I, I did senior work at PwC and I, I had no time. So I have no idea how somebody could pass the exam while working full time as a senior. I'd, I'd love to hear some insight yeah, on that. It, it's brutal. I Every intern and staff I have, I always tell them, I'm like, get this done now. You will. It will stink. It, it will be you will feel like you don't have a life, but getting it done as a staff you have so much more time for me as a senior i have a ton of jobs going on 
yeah. um, deadlines and whatnot, audits do. And um, it was really a matter of coordinating with my bosses and being open about, hey, I have a test coming up. I'm going to work X to X um, and get my work done. And I'm going to study before work, after work, and then on the weekends. Um, but managing a 45 to 50 hour workload plus studying for exam is not fun. No, no. Um, but you have to be, I found if I was up front and got, made sure I got my work done, you always have to make sure that they your work's all set. Um, but also you find that good boss or you find that good superior that's going to work with you to get this done. Yep. Um, so they've been great. They let me, I took a lot of PTO. So I use a lot of my own time before a test, just like a week ahead or whatnot, just to do all that final studying. Um, but definitely a lot, you have to work at it a lot harder if, versus if you were just at a staff level. Yeah. And I have a, a whole module devoted to kind of making time to study. Was anything that you learned from ultimate CBA exam guide in there, was that useful or I'm just curious? Yeah. Um, there was a one about like email notifications during the day. And so I, when I started with you, I shut those off and I only accepted them for, I think my two main bosses. Um, that way, every time an email was coming in during the day, I wasn't getting bombarded and wasn't switching from task to task. Um, and just, just having that schedule that you talk about a lot and, how to do it and I think bouncing ideas off of other people in the group as well hey what are you doing for your schedule and I know it gets talked about a lot um it kind of gives you different perspectives of what to try and right how to go about that that's great yeah yeah I, I think it's all about being ruthless with your time because I mean at the end of the day time is your most limited resource so if you're not delegating to your your interns and your your first years if you are trying to do everything yourself um, then you're, it's, you're, you really are setting yourself up for failure if you're still studying for the CPA exam. So, um, so yeah, that's great advice. Uh, very cool. So, um, so yeah, I, I guess any, any other final thoughts that you want to share with folks? And, and I know, oh, I forgot to mention you're, you're wearing an awesome shirt there. I love the <laughs> CPA exam survivor. So, you know, uh, it's something that my wife and I, we, we send to everyone in our group who, who passes CPA exam. And so it's just, it's like a little token of our appreciation, but also it's, you know, it is, you're such a, it is something that um, is so unique and it's, it's, I think it deserves a shirt to say that you're a survivor. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So I, I guess any, any other final, any, any final thoughts that you want to share with uh, other seniors or even first years or interns who are listening and are, are considering the CPA exam? Absolutely. I would just say stick with it. I, I can't count how many times I have wanted to just stop and failing for an entire year and having to deal with that after passing one test is was taxing, super taxing. Um, but something in the back of my mind every time I wanted to give up was like, no, like push forward, keep going. You've got this. You've passed one. Then it became you've passed two. Um, and then finally, by the time I passed far, I was like, all right, we got, we have one more. Like we're, we're right there. Um, and study, study your tail off because you don't have to study again once this last one's done. Um, so this will all go away and you will have your free time back to do whatever you want to do. Um, but it was really hard. It, absolutely a struggle the entire way and even having to tell like my bosses I failed like I, I didn't ever want to do that and I mm -mm. felt like I had to keep telling them I failed and it was awful but there's a light at the end of the tunnel you get that last passing score and you're like oh my gosh I, I actually did this like yep what do I do now <laughs> well I, I mean you you created an asset of your personal brand and that's going to be an asset that will pay dividends for the rest of your career. And that's, that's what's so cool about the CPA is that it instantly shows that you are capable of doing something incredible that requires 
a ton of dedication, a lot of sacrifice, and just it just shows the type of person that you are. And that's why the CPA is so valuable because the pass rates are so low. And if the pass rates were high, this wouldn't really mean anything. So, right. and so, and I mean, it, I'm sure I know it changed my life, but failure was one of the best things that ever happened to me because it really showed me what I was made of and what I was capable of overcoming. So I, I, right. I hope that that was the same experience for you as well. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing, nothing hard. I'm trying to think of like the way to describe it. Um, some that like nothing easy is like worth working hard for or whatnot, but sure, it's, yeah, it's not saying. easy. And um, but you can do it. You absolutely. You get a. I think the first test score I think I've ever gotten when I first sat was like a forty-five, and I was a brand new entry level, and I had no idea what I was doing. Um, but you. You can do it. Yeah. Anyone can do it if you put the time into it. Yeah. And, and for anyone who's not sure what study materials to use as well, like we have a group of over a thousand CPA candidates. They're using every possible CPA review course that you could use. And, you know, we get great results for all of the courses. So it's if you're if that's the reason that you've kind of procrastinated start on the process, just know that it's not the study materials that you're using, as long as they're following the blueprints and the, they have video lectures and can teach you the material, that's great, but it's actually how you study that matters. So you know, don't worry about necessarily the study materials, find a course that's good, that fits your personality and you like the instructors because you'll be spending more time with them than anyone else in your life. But, you know, so sign up for the free trials. But at the end of the day, find the course that fits your budget, that has solid materials, good good resources, and then find somebody to teach you how to actually study. And that's that's really the key for me um, and what I'm seeing working um, for CPA candidates. So cool. All Absolutely. right. Well, thank you for your time, Shelby. Really appreciate it. Good luck on busy season and all the, <laughs> all the fun things that will um, come with uh, busy, all that fun stuff. So, um, so yeah, <laughs> thanks for your time and congratulations. Thank you. Hey, future CPA. Thank you so much for listening in on my amazing interview here. And I hope that you're inspired. I hope you're motivated. And I hope that you are somebody who understands the value of having a CPA exam mentor. And if you're somebody who doesn't have one, if you're struggling with the CPA exam, then you are definitely a good fit to work with me to understand and learn how to pass a CPA exam and learn all those soft skills that the CPA review course companies and college just didn't prepare you for. And so the simplest way to determine if you're a good fit for to work with me is to head over to mycpamentor.com. So basically I've got the page pulled up here on the screen and it's a simple application. Just answer a few questions. Once you uh, submit the application, then we'll provide you with some tailored advice on what we think you need to be doing to improve in your situation. And then if you're a good fit for our mentorship program, we'll let you know. And if you're a good fit, then the next step will be to head over to our informational page. So basically, uh, what is Ultimate CPA Exam Guide? How is this mentorship program going to help you? Is it right for you? And all those nitty gritty details. So basically, at a high level, Ultimate CPA Exam Guide is for brand new and struggling CPA candidates alike. Um, it's going to give you the blueprint to go from hoping that you're doing this right to knowing that you are. And then the way that we do this is through three primary ways. So there's going to be some online training modules. So this is going to be pre-recorded videos that I've put together that will teach you everything I know about passing CPA exam. And so basically this is just a one-time thing. You go through it, understand my philosophies, have the study checklist, the planners, and everything ready to go. And then you can dive into the CPA exam process with confidence, knowing that you're doing everything that you need to do. And then on top of that, we also provide some personalized support. So these are snapshot mentorship sessions. So basically this is a very in-depth questionnaire that you fill out. And then based on what you uh, share about your current situation, then I'll put together videos, send them right to you, addressing each and every struggle that you currently have. And then we also have this amazing private community with over a thousand CPA candidates in there. And as you heard from the interview, having a community of CPA candidates who isn't a coworker, 
neighbor who isn't a college roommate, um, it's crucial to your success because you want to have a safe place to go to ask those questions that you might feel dumb for asking, but then will have no judgment because everyone's in the same shoes. Um, you'll be guaranteed to be able to find somebody using your CPA review course, somebody who's in your industry and is experiencing exactly what you're going through. So if you're a single mom with kids trying to figure out how to pass this exam, there's gonna be a group of gals there to help you. If you're a dad working full time with a family and kids and just trying to juggle a bunch of knives essentially, there's gonna be a group of those dads as well who are there to support you. So again, having community is crucial. You don't wanna do this alone and having a mentor to teach you how to study is going to be crucial to your success. Um, so what kind of guarantees do we have? Well, basically you're going to receive unlimited mentorship support until you pass if you enroll in Ultimate CPA exam guide. We also have a 30 day guarantee that we will transform you from a struggling CPA candidate to somebody who is confident in their ability to pass or your money back. So we take your success very seriously. And if we don't uh, transform how you're tackling this exam, your mental mindset about this process in the first 30 days, then I don't deserve your money and I want you to ask for a refund. So there's also, again, the moderated study group. So I'm in the study group all day long, answering questions, deleting things that aren't relevant and so forth. So it's a moderated group, which is very unique to the industry. And I also have a crack team of CPA exam experts who are available 24 seven for you. So if this sounds like something that would be very valuable to you, then I strongly urge you to apply over at mycpamentor.com. We'd love to have you in the community. I know we can help you crack the code to pass in the CPA exam.